welcome back to my channel if you're new here a very big welcome to you and i hope you consider subscribing down below on your way out and if you're not thank you so much for tuning in again today so today's video is going to be a very simple quick video um i'm going to be showing you guys how i color correct I have so much spots on my face and I also have dark circles, although they are not so bad, but bear in mind that I don't do this every single day. I don't have the time to do this every single day. I probably have the time, but I refuse to do this every single day because I mean, it's just, it's stressful, like, it's not something I want to do every day. But days that I actually color correct, this is how I do it and yeah, just keep on watching to see how I do that. So, um, first of all, I'm in a different background as you guys can see because I'm not filming in my usual place which is at home. I'm not filming at home today. Anyways, um, yeah you guys should also ignore my voice. I have cold and <coughs> my voice is so horrible I almost cannot recognize my voice when I speak. But that aside, I'm going to just quickly show you guys how I cover my dark circles. And I'm making this video because one person requested, yes guys, even if it's one person that requests a video, I'm up for filming it and, you know, she has asked me a number of times. I'm going to find her name and put it down here. So yeah, and I'm filming it today just to show her and every other person that wants to know how they can cover their dark circle, you know. Um, just show you guys how you can cover a dark circle. This is how I do mine. It's very simple. It's very basic and I use this my LA Girl Pro Conceal to do it. This is the orange one and um, also most of the time I go with a darker concealer and mix two of them and um, yeah because I just prefer it that way and I'm just let me just stop talking and show you guys. My concealer is almost out. I'm trying to squeeze the light out of it. It's ridiculous. So yeah, I just basically um, screw up some concealer and I just place it here. You don't need too much for this. I don't know how to color through the camera, but you really don't need too much for this. Wow. This is a bit too much. But depending on how that concealer could, I just put it. And then I also use it to cover up my spots before I apply my foundation, obviously. You can see I have a lot of spots like I'm going to go into this um, BH Cosmetics Foundation and Concealer 2 10 color palette. Um, it's like that. So I'm going to go in with this dark shade right here. It's Gazi Clef Productions. You the ring jammy, the make me want to do back to more. You got it. So what this does is that it basically makes the orange a little bit darker because the orange on its own it conceals, but I just it has a better coverage when I mix it with a darker concealer. So that's exactly why I do. So I'm going to go in with this one together and I'm just going to use that to now dab this in. And I like this to better because it's small, so it gets under the eye really well. You got it. So as you guys can see now, like most of those spots, you can actually barely see them. And yeah, if I had used just the orange concealer um, alone, without mixing it with a little bit of darker concealer, sometimes at this point, you still see those spots like clearly. But if, when I mix it, it just makes such a difference. So I like to mix it. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation. And today I'm going to be using the Red Lawn Color Stay foundation and I'm in, I'm in the color of 400 caramel.
So the kind of coverage that my face has right now is ridiculous. Like it's been such a long time. I actually like did a full on color correcting and all that stuff because I don't know most times I don't make makeup I'm in a hurry, but today I have all the time to film this video and I'm just loving it. Normally this foundation is really not that full coverage, it's beautiful but it's not like full on coverage. And today let me just zoom in so you guys can see what I mean. Then I'm going to go ahead and put on concealer under my eyes and I want to try out this palette. Um, hopefully I will not regret this decision. This one. If it's not quite enough as bright as I would like it, I'll just probably add this one. Can you guys see how amazing this concealer performed? Like, I'm so impressed right now. <laughs> Now to set all that area where I highlighted, I'm going to be using this Espon loose powder in translucent. I've been using this lately instead of my Sasha butter comb, but I quite like it. Brain on the mix. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face and I'll right back. So guys, this is my face with a full makeup on, like I'm done with all my makeup and you can even barely tell that I had spots on my face before I started applying this makeup today. So yeah, this is what I do every time I want to conceal my dark circles or um, correct my spots correct or conceal my spots before I put on my foundation so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed yet please click that subscribe button down below and I will see you all in my next video bye guys <laughs>